Russian oligarch who allegedly paid Michael Cohen is linked to Clinton Foundation and John Podesta by Jim Ha for thegatewaypundit.com. Michael Avenatti, the attorney for Stormy Daniels, alleged on Tuesday that a Russian oligarch paid Trump attorney Michael Cohen $500,000 for insights into the Trump administration. The deposits were made in the months following the 2016 election. Michael Avenatti, after significant investigation, we have discovered that Mr. Trump's attorney Michael Cohen received approximately $500,000 in the months after the election from a company controlled by a Russian oligarch with ties to Mr. Putin. These monies may have reimbursed the $130,000 payment, NBC News reported. Stormy Daniels' attorney claimed Tuesday that President Donald Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, received $500,000 from a company controlled by a Russian oligarch deposited into an account for a company also used to pay off the adult film actress. Daniels' attorney, Michael Avenatti, also detailed other transactions he said were suspicious, including deposits from drug giant Novartis, uh, the state-run Korean Aerospace Industries, and AT&T, which confirmed it paid Cohen's company for insights into the Trump administration. If true, Avenatti's claims made in a dossier posted to Twitter could add a new dimension to the federal investigation into Cohen. Avenatti offered no proof for his allegations. It is also not clear how the porn star's attorney uh, would discover the pro- the, that kind of private information, I should say. Now this, the Russian oligarch is linked to Bill Clinton and the Clinton Foundation. Isn't that a surprise? The Examiner reported on the Clinton ties in 2016. New emails show Clinton Foundation staff pushed Hillary Clinton's State Department to approve a meeting between Bill Clinton and a powerful Russian oligarch as her agencies uh, lined up investors for a project under his purview. The Clintons' relationship with Victor Vexelberg, uh, Vexelberg, uh, the billionaire whose name appears in the documents, has taken on new significance amid an expanding criminal investigation into his company. Last week, authorities raided the offices of Vexelberg's firm. Renova Group, following allegations of bribery from several of Renova's subsidiaries. The Kesselberg had been named head of a partnership dubbed the Russian Silicon Valley just three months before a Clinton Foundation employee began pushing the State Department to approve Bill Clinton's proposed meeting with Vexelberg and a handful of other Russian executives. The emails obtained by conservative-leaning citizens united and provided first to the Washington Examiner do not reveal any illegal activity on the part of the State Department, the Clintons, or their foundation. But the records shed light on one of many relationships that blurred the lines between the Clintons' political, financial, and philanthropic pursuits while Hillary Clinton served as Secretary of State. Vexelberg's Renova Group has donated between $50,000 and $100,000 to the Clinton Foundation donor records show. Another firm associated with Vexelberg, O.C. Orlikon, or Orlikon, donated $25,000 to the Clinton Foundation. And Victor Vexelberg is also linked to John Podesta via the Stone Cold Truth. Just how much money did Vector 
Vexelberg, a con uh, controversial Russian billionaire investor with ties to the Vladimir Putin and the Russian government, launder through Metcom Bank, a Russian regional bank owned 99.978% by Vexelberg with the money transferred via Deutsche Bank and Trust Company Americas in New York City, with the money ending up in a private bank account in the Bank of America that is operated by the Clinton Foundation? WikiLeaks emails tie John Podesta, chairman of Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign in the money laundering network, with the confirmation Podesta had exercised 75,000 shares out of 100,000 shares previously undisclosed stock options, he was recently issued by Jule Unlimited, a U.S. corporation that ties back to Vexelberg, connected Jolie, uh, Jolie uh, Global Stitching in the Netherlands. A shady entity identified in the Panama Papers as an offshore money laundering client of the notorious Panamanian law firm Mossack Fones Fone Fonseca. Excuse me. As a clear indication of guilty conscience, the WikiLeaks Podesta file further documents that Podesta made a serious effort to keep the transaction from coming to light, evidenced by his decision to transfer 75,000 common shares of Jolie Unlimited to Leonidio LLC, another shady shell corporation. This one listed in Salt Lake City at the home apartment of the gentleman who registered the company. Further research has documented that Victor Vexelberg arranged for two transfers of unknown amounts to a private Clinton Foundation account in the Bank of America. So... Uh, I don't really understand all of this because this is new news to me, uh, but it seems like uh, this guy w it, it was uh, used to uh, set up, uh, I guess, Trump's attorney, and he paid money into Cohen's account, but that is strange, and it seems like he paid the adult uh, thing, but in other words... It all goes back to the Clintons. Uh, so they have the tie. So anything, it's a setup. In other words, how are you going to actually make out all these things? You see, so it was a setup to set this up. Boy, they invested a lot of time uh, coming up with this scheme. So this oligarch allegedly paid Michael Cohen is linked to the Clinton Foundation and John Podesta. As if they're not going to find out, but they figured, hey, maybe we can get Trump out somehow where nobody would find out. I mean, this is... Uh, and you have uh, Daniels' lawyer that he's claiming was paid. So they're trying to set Trump up. In other words, his attorney got money from the Russian oligarchs to pay off Stormy Daniels. And meanwhile, there these two are connected. This Russian oligarch is con uh, connected to Podesta and Clinton and Bill Clinton for trying to set up some kind of deal uh, here where they're saying he set up a deal a uh, couple of months uh, before. Boy, this is getting uh, kind of, you know, interesting. I mean, really? But they're finding this out. But who found this out? That's what I'd like to know. Anyway, uh, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep you posted on this. Uh, but it's very interesting, I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.